Hi, it's Donovan Everett from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Breeders in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pool Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Well, race number six, and before we even get to what the race is about, I'm hoping I can tempt Warren and twist his arm and tell him to get into my corner on this one, because I like a horse here, but I can't give you all the confidence in the world. Maybe Warren could help and, uh, you know, just boost my confidence on the horse. It's a merit-rated 74 handicap. It's race number six. It's over 1,400 meters, and it is a field of nine that go to post. Now, Warren... There's lots of form to work around and some tried and tested horses, some of them are dropping in the ratings, will be you know, more competitive of the mark that they're at. You've got claimers on horses, you've got a spread of weights from 61 kgs all the way down to 52. So it does become complicated when you try and dissect it. I mean, no, it can be complicated uh, when we're racing in these low division handicaps on the poly track. I like this horse called Midnight Caller here for uh, Waiho Mowing. And Wyo seems to pick his spots uh, smartly whenever he places his horses in case at end. Now, this horse has had two tries on the poly track, fair form, but yet to shape. But the one thing that will grab you is that three of the four wins have all been over 1,400. And having watched that race last time out on the poly track over 1,600, where Wesley Mowing gave this horse a super confident ride, he was caught very late in that race over eight furlongs. They're now going to the claim for draw one furlong shorter. There's no doubt when I look at the field and try and assess the way the race is going to be run, whilst there is some speed with other runners in the race, I fancy that none of them are going to try and take this horse on because of the claim for. If they do so, well, so be it. But from draw one with the claim for, if this young kid can just time his fractions, not go too quick, seem to set it up, when he turns into the straight and then presses the button. I personally think nine to two could be value here. The source could run all the way to the line. Whether you can use him as a pick six banker is up for you to decide, but I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna banker the source at nine to two and everything. Race six, number one, midnight caller. It's amazing how things work out when we study and when we look at the fields and et cetera, et cetera. Of course, we haven't met before we came to the studio, you and I, but we yes. talk between races. And out of the eight races, you would have seen in my card, race six had absolutely no markings yes. because I sat last night going through it and, and needed help. And in fact, the only marking I've got is at the top of the page is that, need help. Yes. And you've come with big help. And, uh, you know, we saw over the weekend, three yards come to the races with one runner and go home with 100% strike rate. So I always look at little things like that. Some people think I'm mad because I do that. But a, a lot of yards come with one runner. They also go home with no winner. But Correct. on Saturday, there were three yards with one runner, one winner. And uh, away home, Arwing comes to the races with one runner. That's got a huge chance. And uh, you've spoken about Midnight Caller. You've given the positives. You've touched on the negative. Uh, and uh, let's be together. That's what it's about. It's about working together to help the punter. And uh, Midnight Caller absolutely could give Waiho Mowing a 100% strike rate on Wednesday. Place chances, I, 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 when I was looking at the field, I thought, well, the b best I can do is, is talk about 680 the mover as maybe an each way chance, consistent yard in form, uh, Jogarati uh, place chance. Uh, Final destiny, the value for the quartet dropped from a 73 to a 52, but needs to step up to the plate a bit. So that was what, that was what I was going to offer. So I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to thank you for, for, for advising that. And uh, we'll be together with number one midnight caller. Well, that is it. We are going all in here. Race number six, number one midnight caller. Warren's given you a few horses that you could possibly include and uh, trifectas, trifectas exactors, and even if you're looking for the cover, if you are not in the camp of number one midnight caller, then uh, the suggestion is Eddie the Mover, Final Destiny, 
Giambattista, Hippocrates, those seem to be the obvious horses when you have a look at their form in black and white. But let's see if this young kid, Bevan Plikes, can make it a 100% strike rate for Waiho Maui in race number six. I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money. Two seconds later, it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. <laughs> <laughs>